Welcome back to another episode of This Guy's Thoughts. I always appreciate swinging by the channel to uh, check out my latest beer review. Uh, this episode here, looking at one from the Goose Island Beer Company. Uh, this here is their Secret Beer Hug. So Secret Beer Hug, it is an IPA coming in at, hazy IPA coming in at uh, 6.5% alcohol by volume. And this is the third one that I've had from this Beer Hug series. I've had the Tropical Beer Hug, uh, the Neon Beer Hug. I think one of those was an Imperial or something like that. But they've all been, both of them have been pretty solid anyway. Um, nothing to uh, you know write home about, but pretty solid. So I'm hoping the same from this. Uh, now this is at 6.5% range. It is a hazy IPA. Hazy IPA, 6.5%. That spells crushable in my book. Uh, as long as it's not leaning towards that West Coast style. As long as we get more of this New England. And it is hazy, so that's what I'm anticipating. More of this uh, New England style. Uh, let's see here. It says umbrella drinks in a can. Uh, secret classified. Uh, let's see here. Yeah. Yeah, just some fun, fun artwork on there, right? In fact... Uh, I think this whole of this, I don't even know how many they have in this series. Maybe they only have three. I don't know. But they've all been kind of fun artwork and everything. I think it's pretty cool um, that Goose Island is kind of doing something like this, really. And I've I've never been a, um, a massive fan of Goose Island, but I've never not enjoyed them or, you know, disliked them or anything like that, like some people. Um, there, It is what it is, so I'm hoping we get a good one here. Um, you know, become a subscriber if you're not already. I hope you hit that notification bell. Hope you like the video. Drop a comment. Uh, check out my other content uh, when this is done, of course. So let's get a pour on this thing. We'll use the uh, this guy's thoughts uh, shaker pint glass here. And what are we getting? So we definitely have, um, you know, we got that hazy appearance. Lots of carbonation being released in this. There are some larger uh, dish soapy fish eye bubbles popping away in the top there. But for the mo most part, um, it's fairly frothy. Uh, frothy looking head. Uh, just over about two fingers on this thing here. Uh, just a white, you know, white head. Uh, color wise, well, let's get out the chart here, see what we got. I'm going to say this is more of a pale to a medium amber in color. Pale amber, it's probably right on spot with the pale amber uh, color to this one right here. So there you go. That's what you got to look at right there. So let's get a nose. Might get like, an, like a melon right away. Yeah, like a sweet, like a honeydew. Not at all what I was anticipating. I was anticipating uh, more of a citrus with some slight tropical mist. But definitely you get a melon, uh, maybe a papaya. Huh. Just a faint, almost, I guess we could throw in a, a generic, non-discreet uh, citrusy, but... I get a lot of like a melon, like a sweet melon coming off of this thing. So let's get a drink on this thing. Okay. So mouthfeel, body wise, I'm gonna say lighter side, um, you know, light bodied mouthfeel, it's just approaching medium, not quite there. Thin. Uh, surprisingly, there's a little bit of a crisp, a crispiness to it. It's very wet, if that makes any sense, um, and kind of watery. So thin body, thin, uh, lighter body, mouthfeel, thin beer. You get a little bit of this weird aftertaste. Almost like, um, I 
don't know, a cantaloupe rind, honeydew rind, like a melony rind. Uh, very low carbonation, you know, moderate to low carbonation. If I seem to be a little bit disappointed here, it's because I am. I was thinking hazy IPA. Uh, I was hoping for, you know, just a nice citrusy hazy IPA. Not there. Bit of an earthiness to it. Um, almost uh, not quite a grassiness, but you get this earthiness feel to it. Man, uh, I'm just going to drop a score at 3.75 out of 5. Um, I definitely believe, and I can't really think, remember what I what I reviewed when I reviewed the others, what I scored them, but uh, this is probably the least of, of the three, uh, my least favorite of the three anyway. So, hey, anyhow, they can't all be home runs, right? 3.75 out of, out of 5. Uh, Secret Beer Hug, Goose Island Beer Company, 6.5% alcohol. They're calling it a hazy IPA. Um, but that's what they're calling it. Anyhow, thanks for watching.